Hello everyone, welcome back and today we find yet another knife clone has managed to make its way here to Rathbone Manor somehow or another. I'm not sure how it did it but it's here so I suppose we better take a bit of a look. Let's get it out. Comes this nice white box. It's quite well packed as you can see. A little bit of bubble wrap and a little cellophane bag and it's a Kershaw Shuffle clone. Um, there we go. This one rattles a little bit. I don't know if you can hear that. Have a listen. There we go. Uh, we'll investigate that in a moment but in the meantime let's take a closer look. And so here it is then, my Kershaw Shuffle clone, not looking bad too far, so far. Turn it over and have a look at the other side, see what's going on over there. Hmm. Uh, I can see one mistake they've made already. That's upside down for a start, the Kershaw is upside down. Um, that rattle. What was the rattle? Ah, yes. We can see the thumb studs are nice and loose then. Straight away, straight out of the box. Look at that. Hmm. And to moving back to the uh, pocket clip. Kershaw, upside down. But they have got the... Uh, China in the right place on the grip. Lock up on my particular specimen is just a tad over 50% so that's not too good either. Oh, can we see the washes in there? What sort of washes have we got hiding in there then? Can I get in there and focus in on them or not? Uh, not at the moment. I'll have to try that in a minute too. Let's get a bit of extra light here. So getting in there with a little extra light, we can see there are two nylon washers. What else do we have going on in there then? Looks like a couple of ball bearings. That's interesting. Here is a slightly different angle with the blade halfway open. They do look like sort of um, some sort of supporting ball bearing. The finish on the blade doesn't appear to be too bad. A nice little hollow grind and the swedge at the top there. The uh, loose thumb studs can soon be fixed with a little drop of Loctite. It'll be interesting to see how sharp the blade is, but we'll do that in a moment or two. Um, I think there's a slight error just in here in this um, choil, as you can see. I don't think it's meant to be sticking out like that. We have some um, Torx screws. The scales look quite nice. I don't know whether it'll be the same material as used on the original Kershaw shuffle or not. We've got the back spacer with its bottle opener. That looks nicely finished too, doesn't it? Then we have the alternate pocket clip mounting point and the lanyard loop stroke screwdriver at the back. This thing has um, nested stainless steel liners and there's the, uh, the lock again. You can just about see its little ball detent in there as well and as I said earlier on there's the China mark on the scale in the right place and I've got to say I, I do like this uh, K pattern that's nice that and then we have some uh, the markings the model number and the 3 CR13 blade material as to whether it is it actually is 3CR13 is another thing. As you can probably see, mine does tend, seem to have a uh, 
slightly rounded off tip. Instead of a nice sharp point, it's rounded off. Just before we check out blade centering, let's have a look what the inside of the backspacer looks like. How well have they finished that off? Uh, some screw heads there. Well, I've seen a lot worse. Here is the blade centering then. Not too bad. Okay, so there are a few little small mistakes on this clone. Um, as we can see, the uh, thumb studs are a bit loose, but I can get some Loctite on those. That'll stop that fall nose falling off. Um, we've got Kershaw upside down on the pocket clip. Uh, there seems to be a little error in alignment here. Um, hmm. Let's just get a tape measure in here and you guys can get some idea of the size of it then. There we go. So we're looking at roughly um, 150 mil overall length. Blade length looks to be about 60 mil. What's the cutting length on that? Let's have a look here. Uh, it's around about 55 mil cutting distance on that. Okay. So, I suppose you better get the uh, bits of bag over here and see how well it cuts stuff up. Right ho, let's start with a little bit of paper, shall we? See what it does with paper. Well, yep, if we can get out of the paper that is, let's have a look. Could just be me, but it looks to be uh, cutting all right, doesn't it? Hmm. Get rid of that. Nice bit of cardboard here. Oh yeah. Chops that up nicely, doesn't it? with that. <coughs> um, we'll have a look at the garden twine again. <laughs> Not too bad on that one then. Piece of cake for it. <coughs> Let's try the rope. See what it's like with rope, shall we? Not got a lot of rope left, look. Getting some more though. Okay. Almost. Got a couple of goes, but uh, it did it eventually. Um, oh yes, There's the old uh, package strapping again. Yep, likes that one then. What about getting this a belly going? Yeah, he likes that one too. Uh, where's my thicker strapping gone? Here it is. I can get it out of the bag. Once again, yes. What about chopping it? Oh yeah, not too difficult at all then. Um, there's a little bit of a Labrador strength dog lead left. Let's have to find some more of that. There's some out here somewhere. Oh yeah, that's that's sharp. That is that's all right. Yep. Um, zip ties. And a big chunk. Right, a little zip tie for a start then. Can it manage a zip tie? I should say so. What about a medium sized one then? Loop it off. Oops. Alright then, get hold of it. Oh, that's a piece of cake. I've got the thicker, thicker one here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to hold it this way this time, so it can't slip away. I've got up with a little, got a bit more traction here with the uh, bits in there. Right, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, but we did it. Okay, hmm, so it's fairly sharp then. Okay, so I've just popped out into the workshop where we're going to try the Kershaw Shuffle clone with this screw. And I'm going to try this quite large screw into the uh, screwdriver head and as you can see it is a very nice snug fit and this chunk of wood I've um, prepared a hole already so I just pop it in there there we go and we'll see how it gets on well it's got a very good grip of it in it goes look at that doing really well. It's tightening up now. Oh, it's fell out. But I think that's all we need to do. So that's good. Did it cause much damage to the screwdriver head? Let's have a look. Just a few marks from the uh, paint I think, but uh, no. Looks yeah, looks relatively good. So, what about a few size comparisons with some of my other clones? Here's the oldest one I have. The uh, Boca Subcom. So you can, go, you can see that's a lot shorter there. One of my newer clones is the Spyderco UK PK. A bit bigger. But this one is UK legal. And this one is not because it locks up. And I've got this, uh, just got this in as well. This is the Buck X44. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? But uh, doesn't it look a little bit familiar, guys? Hmm. I shall be doing a review on this shortly as well, if you're interested. So there we have it then. The latest clone to make it to Rathbone Manor. Now, I know some of you guys out there don't like clones. Um, you know, I, I like them. I quite like to... Uh, I find it quite a challenge to find them. Uh, to review them. I, like, I enjoy reviewing them actually. Uh, sometimes they're not very good. This one's not too bad. It looks like what it's supposed to be. It cuts fairly well. It has one or two little errors like the uh, the loose thumb studs. Um, we know the uh, marking on the clip is upside down. But yeah, it's, it's not too bad. It only cost me about what six or seven pounds from China. Uh, not too bad. But what I'll have to do, I guess, is get the genuine article in and we'll have a look at the uh, two side by side. So there we have it then, guys. Another review, another clone review for you to look at. Um, if you enjoyed it, please feel free to subscribe. You can click like. You can also share it with your friends. See what they think. See if they think it's a load of crap. <laughs> um, you can follow me on Instagram too. Um, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, and I shall catch you back here at Rathbone Manor in the near future, I'm sure, for another knife review. So, I hope you enjoy your day, your morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. Um, and I'll catch you again sometime. See you later, guys.